Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to check out my new Bad Cat Lynx. So I recently got this, I don't know, maybe like a month ago, and I really, really enjoy this amp. I think it fits a different place than, you know, the other amps that I have. So I wanted to give it a test run where we mess around with uh, dialing some knobs. I'll run a boost in front of it so we can see how it sounds, you know, check out all the channels, check out the clean, all of that good stuff. And then we will talk about it afterwards. So let's just jump right in. So this is channel one. Low gain, I have the gate on zero actually.
okay, and this is still channel one. Let's crank the game, dude. Let's dime it. <laughs> Hit it with a drive, man. So yeah, it's a ton, dude. Let's see the decay on this thing with the gate turned up pretty high.
So that is the amp. What did you all think? I actually really dig this amp. Most of the amps that I have are like super tight on the low end or at least can be dialed in that way. Uh, this one has quite a bit larger of a low end, which I thought was kind of cool because you could use that as a good starting canvas and get like a clean boost or like a tube scream or something like that to tighten up that low end. Channel 2, it seems like has a bit of a bass cut, which is really cool, uh, which leads me to want to use the first channel for my solos since the bass is a little bit more round. So I thought that like, you know, when you're on the upper register of the guitar, you can get like a really full sounding tone, which is really cool. So channel 1 is like my go-to for lead work and channel two is my go-to for rhythm work. The amp has ungodly amounts of gain. You know, I just dial it back and you can get something sweet, or if you want to go balls out, I mean, you can totally do that too. Um, insane amounts of gain. Like, I think it has like seven gain stages. Uh, one thing that I did notice too is that with a high-low switch, um, it doesn't matter what I had my gain set to when you put it in high gain mode, it's just, complete balls out, it seems like. It seems like the, the gain knob is a little bit more subtle uh, on, you know, when the high switch is engaged. So yeah, those are my thoughts, man. Pretty cool amp, I, I dig it. You know, let me know what you think, like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time.